Why, hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to Playframe, and also welcome to Jusson. This is a game that just came out very recently, and it is a game about climbing, and it is beautiful, and well, honestly, let's just get into it, because there's probably a lot more to it even than I am aware of, but all I know out the gate is pretty and climbing, and I'd like to see the rest. So, new game. Jusson a French nautical term for a receding tide. This is a game that really thrives on vibes and on long moments of quiet beauty. So I kind of feel like I don't want to talk over it too much. Just enough. The music is really nice. I really love their chosen aesthetic for this game. And it really feels like they've executed on it extremely well. Welcome to Jusson. Prepare to enjoy some very nice, relaxing vibes and cute, crabby things. What have we got in there? And here we are. Chapter 1. Daymark. I love how kind of alien a lot of the environment already feels. Familiar signs of civilization and structure and such, but also just lots of remnants of stuff that looks like it's been on the seafloor for a very long time. Let's start climbing. This is a game that gets very into the nitty-gritty of climbing. So, hold one of these to grip. We've got ourselves tethered to this little uh, anchor point here. We can look for a hold with the left stick. Grab with the right hand. Release with the left hand. Grab. And use this to climb up, looking for handholds. Alternating triggers and hands to grab and climb. There we go. The icon displays the rope's main carabiner. When full, it means the rope is wound in. When empty, the rope is attached to a wall. Okay. So we're not auto-attaching to that part of the wall. 
Looks like. Hold to wind in the rope. There we go. And we're already up a little ways. These carabiners automatically secure the climb and show you the right path to take. Oh, that's nice. All right. We've attached. And we're climbing. Can even pick up the pace a little bit. Let's go ahead and reel her in. Okay. Here we go. Getting a little more free form here. That's fine. Shimmy over here. I love how flexible this is. I like this climbing system. It's not quite the same as the Uncharted style or the Horizon style or any of those others where there's like prescriptive specific places that can be handholds, and that you have specific animations to jump you to, and it's mostly just a, like, a, a matter of pointing at the next thing, hitting A, and the character will kind of do it all for you. You do actually have to, like, find the handhold yourself, and the character adapts to it, and there's a lot of flexibility in there. The three small icons represent secondary, uh, pitons. Pythons? I don't know how to... Pitons? I don't know. If they're full, they're available to use. If they're empty, the pitons are already attached to a wall. Okay. Getting a little more complex, this surface. Okay. It's kind of a neat amount of proceduralness to the animation of the character. Hold X to place a pitten. Uh, and then we can reel in our little tether. Right? And... Oh, we just did. So, uh, there we go. That's a new little uh, anchor point for us. Now, how can I... Oh, you can jump. Okay. Eh. Reach. There we go. Okay. Reach. There we go. Getting a little trickier. The right-hand gauge represents your stamina. Monitor it and keep it topped off to prevent yourself from falling. Okay. All right. Left hand, secure there with the right hand, left hand, okay. Careful. Much longer climb. I'm gonna place a pit in here too, for safety. Still got one more. Oh, well, I just did it earlier, but. There we go. This is easier to climb, okay. Oh. Press the left stick to rest the arm for a bit. Oh, that's nice. Gives us a little stamina back, but it seems like we've got a... kind of a smaller meter for the moment until we can... get somewhere we can actually stand. There we go. Yeah. Reel her in. Okay. Already getting pretty high up. Okay, I see remnants of sort of a ladder grip there. I don't know how well that's going to work for me. Are there other options or things to find? One of the two. Hmm. Well, maybe. This looks more promising. Can I jump over there? Oh. Yes. I could also probably grab onto that for all the good it would do. Okay. Boy, this just seems nice and easy now. The proper ladder. <laughs> oh, 
a hand up, a hand up. Okay, reach it. There we go. Ooh, a thing. Another sleep turning over stones at the old delta. Harvest. Two belay stations for parts. A good catch. That should be enough to reopen the route to the old cape. Otherwise, it's all smooth sailing. A couple of old lanterns I think I can revive. Folks used to throw this stuff away. Oh, and I finally caught an old knitting machine for Ennio, who has been asking for one for cycles. Not in great shape, but we should be able to tinker with it. Still not sure how I'm going to haul it up to low tide, though. Note to self. Stop doing business with Rem. All he does is dismantle my discoveries and sell them for parts in the heights. He claims to be a repairman, but he's nothing but a foam salesman. That's what. So I'm suspecting the further we climb, the more details about this abandoned civilization we might pick up. Hmm. Well, this looks like where we're going. Hold X to place your carabiner on the wall. The rope can be attached to most surfaces by holding down X. Okay. That's good. Um, oh, we're just gonna go down from here. Okay. There we go. Left bumper down, right bumper up. What does that mean? Oh, we're repelling. Cool. Okay. That's awesome, actually. Okay. Let's get some swing going. And, uh... Whoop. Nope, not quite. Find somewhere to grip. Almost. Maybe a little lower. Lower. Hmm. There it is. Okay. Didn't know what I was allowed to grab onto from there. But cool. Um, oh. Oh, that's way back down there. Okay. Could I... Hmm. Is there a reason I'd want to? See, I can drop here, but unless I can, like, leave something for myself that makes it easier to get back up via this way... I'm not sure that's something I'd want to do. Nice that's there, though, I guess. And maybe there is a good strategic use for it, I don't know yet. Wait, what was that... icon it was showing me? I mean, that, but... Hmm. I'm just gonna move on. It's a really gorgeous looking game. Hmm. The rope can be attached to most surfaces by holding down X, right? But first... Yiki, how are things at the sawmill? Business has been slow at the restaurant. Almost no one came to the last music night, even though people are climbing down from all over. I know we don't play the shells anymore, but still. I was thinking that adding scaffolding to the side of the upside-down cliff might help steer passerby this way. I miss seeing a packed patio. Can you take care of it? I checked with the low tide and everyone agrees. Hey, Mo. Listen, these things happen. I hope one day you'll ask me to do something besides taking boats apart to make ladders. Like if I'm free for a romantic dinner or two? Anyway, all good for your scaffolding, since the village approves. I don't have much wood to choose from, after that new path to the plain I had to build, but I still have a wreck or two left over. I'll get to it when the currents allow. I owe you one. Thanks. You're the best. By the way, do you ever run into old Sonya? I think she's rummaging around in your area right now. If you see her around, do you mind telling her I need a new hob for my oven? Mine's taking on water. In the meantime, set sail for the restaurant. I'm not sure how romantic it'll be, but we can always share a half-cooked meal.
This is very neat. And with really unique play, too. Like, there's plenty of games that involve climbing. I don't know of a whole lot of them that have, like, taken this sort of approach to not fully simulating climbing, but making climbing more of a uh, process that you do have to kind of, like, think and strategize around. Maybe it'd be smart to get ourselves a little anchor point here. And here we go. Boy, I bet some of this climbing is going to get real tricky. The further in the game you get. Oh, hello. Where are y'all going? Ooh, ladder. And also a way to descend. Guess it's nice having a way to descend. And maybe just creating this is enough. Like, say you want to... Let's test this. Say you want to... Go back to look for something. In a space you've been earlier. So long as you... Keep the rope attached. Then boom, you're good to go. Just... Pull yourself back up. Yeah. Hmm. All right. More climbing. Place a pitten and prepare to jump. There we go. Jumping, I'm guessing, takes a lot more stamina. There we go. Hmm. Don't know if there's much of interest down there, but maybe we should look. Anything? Wait. Here's something. It wasn't till I started my shift to prepare for the crossing that I realized. It's my last crossing to supply fumarolia. After that, folks will have to make do with what they have. What I wouldn't give for things to go back to the way they were. Seeing smiles on people's faces, the little ones climbing the cliff and diving into the waves, and us water fishers learning to fish again. All the things the old folks tell us about sleep after sleep. But enough of this yearning for old times. I've got a desert to cross and a caravan to prepare. It's not going to prepare itself, if only. Seems like the water was receding further and further... And civilization was just sort of moving more and more down the cliffs until it just sort of bottomed out. And had to pivot from being a water civilization to a desert one real quick. Come on. Grab a hold. Or jump. What are you doing there? Oh, no, hang on. Jump. Yeah, why aren't you grabbing? Oh, there we go. Okay. This way. Okay. This is getting a little more dicey and probably demanding a fair amount more stamina to pull off. Let's, uh, yeah, bring ourselves more over here if we can. Definitely more nerve-wracking to do, even if it's not necessarily harder. I will place one. Thanks for the reminder. Oop, double jump. Oh, cool. Yee. 
Hold to load a jump, and double tap to perform a double jump. Cool. Okay. Look at us go. Hmm. So with that up there, can we like... Oh, okay. That's what these are for. They are things which can give me like a uh, faster way up or down because I can attach these from a distance. Nice. I like that. That's starting to make a whole lot more sense. Okay, then. Up we go. And now we swing. Yeah. It's cool. Up and up and up and up and up. And maybe over. Yep, yeah, maybe over. Eh. It's like sometimes you can kind of like do one hand on one hold and then reach up for the next hold with the next hand. Sometimes you need to kind of bring both hands to the same spot so you can uh, reach with a hand that's got a bit more reach to work with. Hmm. Like this one. There we go. And jump. Grab something. There we go. Cool climbing mechanics. Don't forget to regain some stamina. Right. Okay. Placing a secondary pitten anchors you if you fall, which is probably smart. Careful. Careful. Yep. There we go. Uh, hmm. Oh, this could work. Okay. It's a little less scary than trying to jump over to those little grips. But, I don't know if I can grab anything over here. No, not really. Well, okay, there's a... something over here. Uh, yep. There we go. Hmm. Up, 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 up. Ooh. Yes. I want to go to this. Hey, birds. Yet another indie soundtrack I see that I'll be picking up this year. Hmm. Want to keep going up. Let's enjoy the stairs while we have stairs. Hmm. A little scary. Oh yeah, that'd be a much safer way, I feel like, to get to that. If I... Probably easier from up there. Love all the little wildlife running around. Okay, that's probably a no-go, so I think we're going this way. Yes. Logbook. 12 octaves after Jusson. I'm finally leaving. I'm so happy I couldn't sleep a wink. At the old harbor master's office, a note caught my eye. It sounded like poetry. Expedition to the clouds, seeking hope and water. Join us at 12 octaves. 
Becca and Arlo's farm, Highfield, to journey together. After spending so long marinating and trying to find meaning in life, it'll do me good to see the world, as Emmy would say. Hopefully we'll be stopping by her hut. Just the thought of seeing her again is enough to tell me I'm making the right decision. With any luck, there will be other adventurers leaving from low tide. I don't want to make my way to the meeting point with the rest of the expedition all by myself. The only time I ever left here was for the harvest festivals when I was just a small fry. So an expedition like this is no small matter. They want to set sail for the clouds. Oh no. Oh no, my parents. I forgot about them. What am I going to tell them? Hey folks, I'm off on an adventure. See you around if and only if I make it back alive. Of course, Bianca dear. Don't forget to bring snacks. Hmm. I better not say anything. And I should bring snacks. What else? What do people normally take on this type of trip? One thing's for sure. What's a journey without a logbook? I've got it covered. I plan to make like the expeditions that set off for the salt plain in search of springs. I'm going to scatter my journal entries along the way for anyone who might come after us, starting with this message. Farewell, my lighthouse. You welcomed me with wonder and have kept me company as I've pondered too much. You've always been there for me. I'm leaving you to the weave beaks, who will watch over you from the sky. And to watch over this message, I'm leaving one of my creations. Adventure calls. A creation, huh? Where? Can I have it? Where is it? Is it up here? Careful. Place, okay. Uh, drop. Not that I entirely want to, but okay. Uh, oh, we're swinging. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Whoo! Scary. Okay. Let's continue Ooh, as soon as I can find something to grab. Hmm. None of these count. Seems like. Oh, double jump. Okay, you can double jump. From the ground as well. Good to know. Just gotta... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. This is wrong. I can just do this. My mistake. Didn't see that. Okay. Alright. Now we're gonna make this work. Alright. Grab, there we go. Let's place one of these. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's rest a little bit. We might be able to just jump this, although it's possible that, uh, repelling is also not a terrible idea, but we might be able to just jump it. Jump. There we go. Whew. Wait. I see you. I asked Mo for help, but it's no use. The door won't budge. There's no way of knowing how its inner mechanisms work. Does it have anything to do with the lost ocean? Mo isn't much of a handyman either, but... You'd think we would have been able to figure it out between the two of us. He had to weigh anchor. A date, he said. It's true, he did seem rather dressed up to tinker around. Rather perfumed, too. None of this answers my questions. I've explored you from deck to hold, and I'm no further along than when I started. I still don't know what you could have been used for, my lighthouse. Your paintings seem to allude to water falling from the sky, but pff, that's pretty vague. Now what am I supposed to do? Yeah, I imagine that hasn't happened in a while. Hmm. If 
further up. What's this? Oh, hey there, little buddy. What a little handful. I like it. Chapter two, migration. Boy, there's a lot more up, huh? I mean, we got pretty up. Sure seems like there's a whole lot more up though. Well, here, let's at least climb this part. Neat vine thing. Careful. Come on. Get a good grip. There we go. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. By using that, your companion will be able to see the next objective as well as certain collectibles. Oh! What do you see, little buddy? Oh. Seems we got an objective there. Maybe one, several up there. All of them some degree of up, huh? That tracks. Nice. But yeah, that's Jusan. Really cool, as you can tell. And uh, if this looks cool so far, then highly recommend it, because I'm guessing it's going to remain cool. <laughs> and I'm very intrigued at where it goes. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for... <laughs> I'll see you next time for something else. Take care and goodbye.